know, for me, Chris, just, I guess, something like you, you know, how, how did you choose to live in California? Uh, obviously, <laughs> you were here before I was, that's the thing. Um, no, no, technically speaking, I guess, I mean, I've been coming here for many years now. I just never resided here. This is the longest I've been here, my, since my aunt and uncle passed away up in Ventura, up in Moore Park. Uh, I still haven't been, been able to go see their grave sites, you know, but... Uh, it's been a while. Um, I have no other place to call home. I did vote in the last elections. I'm, I'm an active uh, person here in Southern California, in Los Angeles County specifically. Um, active in terms of whatever I can get into. Uh, haven't found a place to live yet. Um, I might have to, uh, I, might, I don't know what's going on. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to back go down to San Diego, went out of Santa Barbara, I wasn't overly attracted to Santa Barbara, it was beautiful, the beach was beautiful there, I liked a little teeny zoo there, that was neat, uh, uh, could I live in Santa Barbara, yeah, I could live in Santa Barbara, uh, but they, the, the, what I read online, it's, it's more expensive than San Diego, so I liked my time in San Diego, so obviously I'm going to be residing either somewhere between here and San Diego, somewhere. LA is, when I'm not getting jacked up and insulted by every moron on the street that's, you know, drunk or, or doing meth, uh, I'm much happier. <laughs> that's the bottom line. I just don't like to be, you know, uh, this little hat here is pretty comfortable. I love, I love this uh, Caltech to visit up there during the week. To, I go up there for lunch every so often just for the hell of it. For the hell of it. All right, Chris. I got to get myself a new shirt, though. This one's starting to fall apart. Whoa! This conifer is starting to throw things at me. This tree doesn't like me. Oh, yes, it does. Happens. Happens. It's neat. Neat, neat. Neat, 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 neat. Yeah, the other thing, too, it's, uh, they say it's a Mediterranean, cli Mediterranean climate. I'm not sure it is. Where I was born in southern Spain, I was in a flatland, so... You, in Cadiz province, there are plenty of hills, plenty of mountain-type things. Ronda, like uh, crevices in the ground, it's gorgeous. If I could live in Spain, honestly, I would live in Spain. I'd go back home to where I was born. Uh, but I don't see how I could possibly make that happen. I'd love Spain, you know. It's uh, it's not my na not my political nation. It's Antonio Banderas' political nation. So now that you're dating Antonio Banderas' uh, stepdaughter that he loves a lot, um, you <laughs> Maybe maybe she'll take you if you haven't taken if she if she hasn't taken you already go to uh, go to Spain with her that'd be sort of fun to see you guys together and also make sure you go to my hometown that I grew up in not the town that I was born in I was born in Rota Cadiz Andalucía Spain but where I grew up in was the town just up north from there where the famous musician Rocío Jurado was changed my diapers <laughs> and the reason she came into my life that was because my father rented a house from her great uncle who's uh, I've said this thousand times Fernando Crespo Miranda who was the brother of Gloria Crespo Miranda who was the father of Fernando Moedano Crespo who was the father of Rocio Jura if you haven't heard, seen that she sang for President Reagan which is neat sort of neat you know Rocio Jurado I think her full name uh, her, her proper name would uh, last name is Moidano, but she as uh, stage name she uses her mother last mother's last name. It would be like you taking on your mom's last name instead of your father, so it'd be Fleming. So Chris Fleming on the end, you know that kind of a thing. Okay, Chris. Uh, yeah, I would love to date your sister, even though she's tall. I don't mind dating taller girls. I think they're she's cute, you know, very cute. Anyway, Nicole. Yeah, Nicole, if you want me, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're a lesbian, which is fine, you know, it's just, I, I made me a little sad because I want, you know, I have, I have, I like girls too, you know, you don't have to be a girl to like girls. Just, I'm trying to clean up a little spots in this little thing here. All right, Cristoforo, Cristoforo, that's how we still salute in the Air Force. The Kent was just about right. The Air Force hat was different, but, yeah, salivary glands. But the thing is, you're supposed to touch the corner of the, of the, the right here at the corner. And have it just so my my pinky will not straighten out anymore. So this is as hard as I can trying to straighten it out. And the, the hand is supposed to be perpendicular to the ground. And then you're supposed to draw down your salute so down through your belly, then down. So it, technically it would be it's hard to do this, you know. Okay. Group battalion in the Air Force the the group is more thinking. Flight, uh, squadron, group, that kind of thing. Squadron! Okay, squadron. 
Then somebody else repeats that. Squadron! Okay. Dress right! Dress right! Kiss! The last resort is cold! Steel thrust between your second and third ribs! That's the army. <laughs> that, come from, that came from my army days. Sorry about that. I forget my ways to say as, a, as an officer in charge of the parades and everything else. That was fun. I'd love... I love drill and ceremony. That was a, a good, good, uh, good, pleasurable activity for me, Chris. Way back when in San Vito de Normani Air Station, Italia, Italia. Oh, these glasses are crazy. Very good. C'est bon. All right, that's all I wanted to say. All sorts of freaky shit. Do try to figure out whether or not uh, Dakota, my Johnson, is my cousin or not. I would love to know. I guess I'd go on to see. If anybody from that, um, the lineages that I found on her have the same Y DNA pattern, so the Johnsons on her family tree, and they should be, they should be identical, they should, she should be a direct descendant of Moses uh, Johnson like I am, but uh, I've only seen her lineage up to a certain point, so my guess is, my guess, the reason why, why in the hell would great grandfather, great great grandfather John H. Martin uh, Johnson have stopped there in Kentucky and not going on with his father out to uh, Missouri. You know, maybe he just, because he got a lot of land or something like that, you know. Well, yeah, some of the land that the Martin and Johnson land together, you know, so what the hell. I'm not sure who owned the farm there and, uh, and uh, Sam Parker Road, the farm that I had the, that the cemetery where John, where my grandfather, David Radford Martin, was first buried, then it became a formal cemetery for John Dalton Martin, his father, his mother Lucy Francis Johnson, and it goes on, so I still have have no connection with the Johnson cousins at all, I've got plenty of Keck connections now, crazy, uh, which is Myron Keck, the famous Myron rich guy that's, that's given all his money away through his his foundation, you know, everything, everybody else, so i got that all there, alright, Kumba, Kumbaya my lord, Kumbaya my lord, Kumbaya, Kumbaya, my lord, Kumbaya, Kumbaya, my lord, Kumbaya. I never heard of anybody in England saying that. Maybe the, uh, maybe the humanist choir in London. I had liked visiting London. I'd like London a great deal. I think I could live in London quite easily too. Is this who, you know, would the Queen invite me or would she beat me? <laughs> live in the sewers, Martin. Yes. Just because you're my cousin means nothing. Okay. I'm done. I think I'm going to go wash my shirt. Get get. If I don't wash this thing once a day, at least it gets all scummy and nasty. So I literally bought a little bag of soap. So anytime I have a chance to throw it in the sink and... Usually it comes out like a lot of black soot comes out of my shirt. Which makes me realize, even though it's clear around me, there's soot in the air because it's picking it up. Somewhere it's picking it up. Huh? What do you think? Okay, Chris. Oops. Should I turn this back? Oh, I just dropped my glass open and just destroyed them. Uh, two. Oh. Ah. I gotta go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. All right. At least I looked at my teeth here at UCLA, the dental school. But whether or not they're gonna. Do anything about it anytime soon. It's not up to me. It's not up to me. Mmm. Mmm. Voila. All right, Chris. Thank you, man. I, by the way, I, I saw your singing in French, and I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. And thank you very, very much. Very nice. So make sure that uh, Dakota takes you to Spain, to my little hometown of Chipi Ona, which is right on the end of the river. Maybe you want to wait till uh, summertime again, where it's warm and toasty. Or maybe you want to slink into town and rent a little, you know, one of the little local hotel situations and uh, and then make sure that, if you can, go up to the top of the lighthouse, it's the tallest, the tallest lighthouse in Spain. When uh, I was last there living with my godmother, uh, Carmen Pujana Oliver, she would take me to have dinner with her nephew, who was the farero, as I say, the uh, the lighthouse keeper at the time, Antonio something, and I forgot his, his full name. So, uh, yeah. I don't know who remembers me there anymore because I was a little boy. 
and my visits there were short. My last time I, I my longest visit there was in '88 when I traveled from Italy when I was living in Italy for three years as an Air Force officer, intelligence. Uh, got to live, go visit them then. Then, well, uh, okay, Christopher, Anthony, John, Martin, I appreciate you being there and. Thanks for letting me hassle you all these years. I appreciate you very, very much. Now that I'm getting older, all the more that I'm enjoying uh, your company and uh, and so glad that you are a musician, so glad that you're an artist, that you that you are ENFP, uh, if you are, and uh, and all those things. And uh, I don't mind you not contacting me. That's not a problem. The, 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 what I really love is that, that you're there, and that's very nice. Soit. Uh, Healy? 